Okay, so it looks like I'm going to be bringing back the budget 302 sooner than I thought. Um, I thought I had a different engine lined up to do some videos about and a series about, but uh, I, it didn't work out. I just I, I didn't get that engine. So in the meantime, uh, we'll just bring the 302 back and talk about some more stuff that I'm gonna I want to do with it. Now, uh, in in the time that it was off the dyno. I heard some people talking about the differences in the distributor gears between a, a non-HO engine with a flat tappet cam and some people say that um, when Ford used the uh, went to the roller cam they used a different distributor gear and what seems to be the case from the looking from what looking around I did and I don't know if this is true or not, whether they actually changed the gear from when they went from the flat tappet cam to the roller cam. But there may be some merit to this. And the reason there could be some merit to that is that in general, a flat tappet camshaft is made out of an iron casting. And typically, from what I've seen, Roller cams are often machined out of a, a steel billet. And I think that the, uh, the non-HO roller cam that I put into the, uh, the budget Ford 302, I think that was a steel camshaft. And I put this, this distributor in without really even thinking about the fact that I was taking out a flat tappet cam and installing a roller cam and that those two camshafts were probably made out of different materials. So what I thought I would do here is just do a very high level overview of what I've read about different camshaft materials and the distributor gear materials that you sh that you can use with them. So basically the idea that I've seen is that if you're going to use a flat tappet cam with a, that's made out of an iron casting or a cast iron core, you should use a cast iron distributor gear. So cast iron cam, cast iron distributor gear. And it seems as though if you're going to use a steel camshaft that you should use a steel distributor gear. But it turns out there's more than just two different materials that they make distributor gears out of. There's like more like five. So, I remember back, um, a guy I knew <clears throat> that was, uh, he built a roller motor, for a small block Chevy roller motor, full roller motor, back in the, probably the late, it was either the late 80s or the early 90s. And I remember I was talking to this guy not too long ago, and he was talking about when they put that steel roller cam in it, that they used, uh, the engine builder back then used a, uh, a bronze gear. And um, I'm guessing at the time, there was not quite the same variety of materials as we have today. So anyway, back then, the engine builder recommended using a bronze gear with that steel camshaft. Now, what happens when you mix them? Let's say you, uh, if you run a, a cast iron gear on a steel camshaft. Now this is this is something that's kind of interest I, I have an interest in, and if anybody knows more about this, I'd kind of like to hear it. But there is an incompatibility between running cast iron parts against steel parts. They they don't seem to like to wear together. I don't know if it's the uh, if it's the the iron that gets worn away first, or if it's the steel that gets worn away first, or if it's kind of a mutual wear where they both kind of that they wear each other out rather quickly. Now I did run this this uh, this gear on that steel camshaft for a little while and I did not see any signs of damage but I think that um, on either the the distributor gear or the the camshaft but it, honestly it did not run like that for very long. And uh, and there's some there's some else about that distributor gear that uh, I want to talk about later but so far we, what we've got in terms of distributor gear materials is we got steel we talked about cast iron and bronze and I guess back in the day you used the bronze on a steel uh, camshaft but the problem with the bronze it was that it would it would save the camshaft but eventually that bronze gear would wear out and from what I've been reading is 
when people are advertising their bronze gears, they they say not well. In at least some, at least in the one situation I looked at, it said in the description of the bronze gear, it said it's not for extended use. So, what would not for extended use be mean? That to me would mean a racing application, an, an application where the engine just doesn't run for long, long periods of time, as it would in a uh, streetcar, for example. The next one that I've heard of is um, they're, they're composite gears, and if anybody's had any experience with those, I'd like to hear about them too. And I'd like to hear about how they hold up, because just um, the idea of using something like that, a non-metallic gear in a, in a relatively high loaded part it's just i don't know anyway if you've used one i'd like to hear about it so make a mention of it in the comments i'd, I'd like to hear how those work out but and uh, i can't remember i can't remember what the composite gears are compatible with my guess is they probably would work on either but i don't know that for a fact and then the last distributor gear material to talk about is a melanized gear and from what they say is that you can use the melanized gear, and I'm guessing that is melanized steel. What I think melanized is, is a type of surface treatment. And I've heard it might be like a, a type of nitriding or something like that. But it's a, it's a surface treatment that they do to the, the material to improve its wear characteristics. But from what I've been seeing is uh, the melanized gears are compatible with steel or cast iron or ductile iron camshafts which uh, and the nice thing about the melanized gear is that you can use it on most any camshaft it, and it's including your steel camshaft without having the wear problems that you run into with a bronze gear and um, I first heard about the melanized gear a couple of years ago we were putting together a, uh, a 454 it was a Mark IV 454, so the first gen big block, and we were doing the roller cam. We did a roller cam conversion on that, and that was a billet steel roller cam. And I looked into the manufacturer to see what kind of distributor gear they recommended for that camshaft, and they recommended a melanized gear. Now, uh, what's this distributor? Well, this is the distributor that I took out of the uh, the budget Ford 302. Out of concerns about whether or not I had the right distributor gear in it. And I heard that, and like I said, I heard that these engines came could come with either a cast iron gear or a steel gear. So this distributor came out of an engine that came from the factory with a flat tappet cam. At least I'm 99% sure that this is the distributor that came with the engine from the factory. So I gather that 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 this gear here was meant for a flat tappet camshaft. So what I did was I, uh, I went to Summit and I ordered this gear and I'll show you the, the part number for it. So I bought that distributor gear from them and in the description that they had for this gear is that it was intended for use with most factory roller cams. And I would say that that includes the camshafts that I've got here, or the, the roller cam that I have here. And you can kind of see the, uh, the finish on it. You know, it looks like uh, something you'd see that would be machined out of steel. So, let's have a look at the cam the gear that uh, I took out of this, took off of this distributor. So, to be honest with you, I can't tell by looking at this what it's made out of. All I can say is that that. Well, it's hard to tell what this is actually made out of. So I don't know. But <clears throat> something I can tell you, what something I've heard of, something while I was researching this, I heard people talking about how do you identify a melanized gear. And do you see that... Yeah, 
that roughness to that, the roughness in the surface, that dimpling there, that kind of looks like it might be melanized. So, but the other thing that that could be is just um, casting, you know, the surface of how the how the gear might have been cast. So looking at this, I can't, I mean, I don't have the equipment to, uh, to determine what this actual material is. I mean, actually kind of looking at the way that the luster on that, the way it's shining, kind of looks more like steel to me than cast iron, but I don't know. I can't tell by looking at it. And if anybody knows of a way to uh, do a quick, non-destructive test to determine if something's made out of steel or cast iron, I'd like to hear about it. Generally speaking, sil steel kind of has more of like a silvery luster to it, whereas uh, cast iron tends to be more of a kind of a gray color. But like I said, I can't tell for sure what this, ca what this gear is made out of. It may be that it's a factory that they uh, were using melanized distributor gears back in the 80s. And I read an article where they said General Motors started using melanized gears in their cars back in 1985. Something like that. So, difficult to say. But uh, the pictures that I saw of melanized gears looked remarkably similar to this. So... Maybe, maybe I didn't even need to change the gear. I don't know. There's a possibility, but for uh, this gear here that I got, it was like, I think I remember it was like, was it like $35, something like that. And this is the, uh, this is the gear that Summit recommended for my application, at least in the, the description of the gear. I didn't talk to them about it, but um, this is the one that the Summit website recommended. So I'm going to put it on, and I think uh, from the, all the other research I did, that a steel gear on a steel camshaft is a good combination. It's a it's a reliable combination. It should last. So yeah, I'll put that on there, and then to just kind of quickly go back over it, we had uh, we talked about the the cast iron camshaft cores, the, the billet steel camshaft cores, the the steel distributor gear, the cast iron distributor gear, the bronze distributor gear, and the composite distributor gear, and melanized steel distributor gears. And the way that they, uh, which one kind of goes with which. Okay, so these are just the observations I've made of these different types of distributor gears and which ones should probably go with which. And uh, if you're in the market for a distributor gear, I'd encourage you to do your own research on it. And, uh, and if you're unsure about which distributor gear to use, just contact either the manufacturer of the camshaft or, or the people uh, selling the camshafts. I'm sure they'll help you. Okay, so that's all I got for now. Um, the next video I'm going to be doing is about the camshaft that I got for the, the budget 302. All right, that's all I got for now. We'll see you next time.